people are still talking about Representative Faye Hanohano's racist rant about public art in her office. Now, the state lawmaker has apologized, but Civil Beat goes beyond the headlines to look deeper into the issue. And joining us live over Skype is CivilBeat.com political reporter Chad Blair. Good morning, Chad. Good morning, KITV. So Representative Hanohano launched into that tirade that include racial slurs against Caucasians, Chinese, Japanese, and others when the public art was put into her office. So what was the point she was trying to make? Well, the point she was trying to make is he couldn't find art by Native Hawaiian artists. So we took a look at the art that is in the Art in Public Places program, it's part of the State Foundation on Culture and the Arts, and it turns out quite a lot of the pieces are by whites and Asians. Now, you've got to be careful when using a surname to judge race and ethnicity. But based on our analysis, there sure didn't seem to be a whole lot of Native Hawaiian artists in the collection. And so what are, I mean, has Hano Hano been actually speaking about this? Or what are people saying about this now? You know, I, you can see the talk. It's online. It's uh, the, basically a lot of people are saying she should be fired. She's a racist and so forth. Uh, not too many people are stepping up to defend her. We're certainly not trying to excuse her remarks. So we're trying to put it in a context. Faye Hanohano is Native Hawaiian. She's from Puna. She grew up speaking Hawaiian in her family, uh, family home. She advocates for Native Hawaiian issues. Perhaps there is some sympathy for understanding her desire to have Native Hawaiian works hanging in her office. Well, some are calling for her resignation, so it'll be interesting to see how this issue plays out in the coming weeks. Now, in the last part of your five-part series, In the Name of the Law, uh, some officials are telling Civil Beat that keeping police misconduct records from the public is a bad idea. What are they telling you now? Well, they're coming from officials like former Governor Ben Cayetano. He was the, the governor who signed that law, in, bill into law, back in 1995. They include former police chief Boise Correa. Basically, they're saying... We probably made a mistake. The reason is, is they thought there was going to be oversight about those misconduct records. In fact, that has not been the case. Uh, Senator Willis Sparrow and Senator Leslie Hara are backing a bill at the legislature right now that would tighten some of those requirements on disclosure for public misconduct. That's really interesting, Chad. Uh, finally, let's talk about monk seals and federal officials are backing off on a controversial proposal to transport these young monk seals and uh, what's happening right now and what's the reaction to that? Well, NOAA, the National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration, wanted to transport monk seals from the Northwest Hawaiian Islands uh, to the state, to the Hawaiian Islands, the main group of islands here. The reason is that the seals are endangered. Their species is declining. But NOAA decided that they aren't going to do that. And the reason is, is they don't really have the ability to control an influx of monk seals into the state. By the way, among the groups that did not want those seals coming to the state, uh, fishermen. And as you know, there's been a lot of incidents reported of attacks on these monk seals. There has. And I think over, just over the weekend, there was a monk seal sighting. So this issue will continue as well. Chad Blair, happy Monday to you. Thanks. You too. You and Paul. Thanks. And you can find the complete story that we just discussed on CivilBeat.com. We will be right back.